Well, it's definitely pretty looking, but ain't making no scrap claims in this weather. Good thing we got reserves, I guess. Go make some sort of paycheck for today. Oh, I'm gonna drag this thing in there if I can, hopefully. Oh, yeah, it should be all right. It's pretty heavy, though. All right. Go meet up with Freddy, see what's popping. Well, we're loaded up. The bin's a great idea, though, man. It's pretty nice to just slide it from one truck to the other. Well, we'll see what we get for this. Hopefully I can sort it out. It'll give me extruded price on some of this stuff. I have to go through it when I get there and sort it out, though. There's a little bit of extruded in there. All right, we got Fred's load. I think this is dirty motors. What is this, Fred? Dirty motors? I don't know. Or just there's a there's a clean motor in there. There's a big one down the bottom there. Dirty iron, probably. And this looks like dirty iron or dirty aluminum or, or rad caps. I don't know. They might take them as a different thing. Check the bins. Sometimes you can get some good shit in here. What do you got, Fred? Anything good? What is that? Look at that thing. It's all aluminum. There's a hand drill. <laughs> Coming in hot. It looks like some sort of charger or instant hot water heater, maybe. Instant hot water heater, right? Is it? Uh, no, look, Trinity Solar. It's some oh, sort of inverter. It's an inverter. Right? Freaking yeah. inverter. I wonder if we can make use of that. Um, probably. There's another one there. These are inverters. For what? Probably solar. Solar they inverters. Transformers in them. Uh, no. Suns in them are fucking. Heavy. They're heavy as shit. They are. Dallas or something. Yep. Huh. Transformers. Look at this one. There's one open. Yeah. There's one open. So we can see. Uh, you can flip it over, can you? Yeah, it is an inverter, Fred. Did you read uh, anything about it? I don't know. What's this over here? There's switches and shit in there. Pick that. Oh, yeah, could, man. Yeah, here, wipe here, it here. off. I ain't got no gloves on. Got any kind of... Most of it's ripped off. Uh, okay. Solar, it's solar edge. So it's definitely an inverter. But I don't... This might be a grid tie, though. Well, I was wondering, you know I mean? I was wondering if it does... If it does the other way, it or not, huh? I don't think so. It's probably grid tie. It only puts AC on the line. Yeah. Look right here. What's that screen say on there? It says power, power production, module communication, and fault. So I would say that this is grid tie. It's not. It's not. You know what I mean? Well, look, all, it's not all grid. Tie. Yeah. But you can't use it. You can't use it to take AC and make 110. Oh, you could. Oh, look. What do we got here? Another Ryobi? There you go. Here. All right. You need a drill? Mm, Is there no. any more Ryobis in there? I need, I need some more Ryobis. Look at that. 
There's like a belt sander there too. The wall, belt sander. The wall. Mm, that looks like that's yeah. busted out. Oh, hold on. There's a Ryobi. Look, there's a Ryobi circular saw down there. You yeah, want it? Yeah, I got plenty of them. Yeah, I got one too. Some old Milwaukee stuff we down in there. We need grinders and we need what do you call it, right? Yeah, uh, I need cordless grinders and saws. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's under that? Is that the handle? I'm sure. That's the handle. Yeah. It actually looks like low use on it, but uh, yeah, most you, of them are. You know, you, you can do aluminum with them. You know that, right? Yeah. With yeah, a finish yeah, blade, yeah. like uh, yeah. look, it looks like it's got a finish blade. Well, it's got a plywood blade on it, but there you go. Yeah. So, so. This, this gets these in and puts out 110 or 240 though. Something like that. Yeah. If you take a complete inverter. There's a, there's a label on here. I mean, fucking buy it and see. There what, you go. What's, fault. what's the uh, what's the shutdown system? Any kind of ratings on there? There's all kinds of shit, but it's kind of like one of those fly by night type things. You end that way. Flip it to me. One, two, three. <clears throat> Yeah, see, grid supplied utility interactive. You see it? Not right. look, non-isolated photovoltaic inverter. So it's a, it's a grid tie inverter. But but if you're putting DC in it, it's gotta have 110 or 240 coming out. Yeah, probably. All right. Yeah. What do you want to do? You want to try to grab it? Let's see what it weighs. Let's see what it weighs. Eighty one pounds. That's like the only complete one that's in there. It's not completely smashed. Makes me wonder. Trinity. So did you see an input on that rating? No. That's what I was trying to get, right? It's probably high. Well look. Minimal, maximum, max. Output 12,000 watts. Continuous. That's 100, 100. Output current 47. I don't know. Did it say input though? Minimum and maximum voltage is input though. I didn't see input on there. Well, we know it's got to be DC. That's the solar panel, right? Yeah. We're good. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Pounds. What do I need to give them? Thank you. What do you say, 12 bucks? Twelve dollars scrapyard find. Oh, we left some heat sinks for next time. Uh, probably. Easily. All right. See if Fred can get it. Get her working again. This is the only one that ain't completely destroyed. Oh. Ninety-one bucks. What do we have in? Twenty dollars and extruded roughly uh, about sixty bucks in sheet, dollar twenty in Christmas lights, and twenty five and thirteen bucks in wire, fifty five cents. Here's some of the prices. You got fifty cents for extruded, thirty three cents for sheet, fifteen for Christmas lights, and fifty five for number two insulated wire. All right, so it looks like. See, look. Here's your. Here's, here's where the DC, DC DC comes in. They got them doubled up. No, yeah, it's they, just oh, got oh, a. Oh, uh, oh, it's a pickup coil for oh, amperage. Really. Yeah. So we got to strip those to get on them. Well, this is to keep uh, well, EMF off of it. That's what these are that for. That don't have a wire on. No, it? no. Oh, it's just. We, a, we don't need it then. Yeah, that's just like a back feed to keep noise out of it. It looks like it's intact. All the capacitors are still on the board. The other one had some of the capacitors ripped off the board. There's a big transformer in there. There's probably a giant heat sink on the back of this thing too. Hmm. So that would be DC in, and then I guess that's your, your AC out over there, right? Right. You're gonna have to hook it up to an array and 
well, or to a battery DC bank. What are these? See, look, C12 volt. I'm going to put 12 volts DC in it, see what comes out. Yeah. Right? Turn it on and see what happens. What am I doing wrong here? You might want to leave that on there. No. But. See if I can get some juicy juice here. As long as you're not running a computer or anything off it, you should be uh, all right. I'm getting strip here. I don't there's... know. I don't know if that has anything to do with a computer, but. Video? Yeah, a little bit. You got 12 volt to put in there? This is a parlor trick. Yeah. You've done this? <laughs> Try to what, strip it? Yeah, and you <laughs> use pliers and, you, and you, you, you geometry off of it. you never done that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cat's ass right mm -hmm. there. This thing's got to have a giant. This one fan, the, the aluminum was a little crunched, so hopefully it don't. It didn't look like it was contacting it, but it's super clean in there, though. Look at it. The cover's got captured bolts. It's good stuff. See, this one even says AC on it here. So, what do these have any voltage listings on there? No. Should just went one one. But it should be. Unless it's 240. It probably is. Think so. Probably if it's grid tie. Okay, so this one wire would be 120, and the white one, the other one would be neutral. All right, we'll get it rigged up and come back see if it does anything. Good old Freddy's truck. He's got everything. Oh, look at this horn you got in here, Fred. That's kind of cool. What do you need? Find the driver's seat this side. I don't. No, Fred, your truck is crazy. Get it? Yeah, I got it. There's a meter back here somewhere. Here we go. All right. Good. All right, she's hot. Okay, what do we got? Now, here? what do you want to do to separate well, them? If it runs. Well, I just don't want them to touch. That's the only right, thing. If it runs, okay. Mm -hmm. We're assuming black is black, right? Yeah. And this should boot up, right? It should. Unless there's a switch we don't know about. No, or... oh, there is on the bottom. There was a switch, or, yeah. Or there's remote program. No, there's a switch. Let's lay it down. Remember, there was, see on the bottom here? Look. Mass it's switch. already on. Okay. I think it, no, now it's on. Right yeah. So that's off and that's on. I would think so, yeah. So you want to leave it off, then hook the wires off and click yeah. it. Well, it'll, if it's like my inverter, this is going to arc. Mm -hmm. Well, the switch ain't on yet, so. All right, do we hit the switch? Uh, let's think it through one more time. Oh, we got red. Look, DC positive, These DC are negative. These right? are vacant, right? What are the little push button, the little thing? Yeah, these vacant. are just like extra wire. Fail. No, it's a meter. <laughs> really? What'd you do to a meter? I didn't do shit to it. <laughs> it <was fun>. <laughs> <laughs> it's your faulty equipment. <laughs> there you go. That'll fix it. There it is. <laughs> I don't know why it comes up in 83, but it does. There you go. Now she's working. You just got to beat her around a little bit. We could okay. say some other things about that, I but we you, won't, right? I bet you I bet you this thing's going to, like, dump the battery when we turn Probably. it on. Probably. All right. Should we flick the switch and go see what ahead. happens? Watch, watch your eyes. One, two, three. Well, we flicked it. Nothing happened. See, what are these dick... These little tactile switches here. All right. Nothing happened. That was on the LEDs over there. Oh, I heard something beep. There's a button down here too. It doesn't have LEDs here somewhere on this. Look. This LEDs. Yeah. Where are they? In that? Yeah, maybe. Or I don't they? know. No, no they're right here. See, one, two, three. Okay. They're right there. So they're not lit. I don't know what this is doing. I guess that lights up the LCD. Hmm. Look at this. Memory battery. Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe this has to see grid power in order to even come on. You know? This probably got to be hooked no. up to the grid to even... Yeah, think about that second. Is that the thing they use to keep it from putting juice on the line or something? No. There's some sort of... There's a big capacitor back there, too. 
110 to go in, right? Yeah, we're definitely probably going to have to. Well, it's probably 220, right? Because this would hook directly yeah, to the right. panel. That's right, yeah. So you need to put 220 into this thing to get it to to get these relays to open up and right so this kind of reminds me of a ups yeah if you don't put power on it some it of those industrial ones it won't even won't power up. up yeah and what happens well it's kind of the same way for like a golf cart charger it has to have 110 and dc on both legs for it to mm -hmm. come on otherwise it won't even so really, it won't even turn on this as an in, a revert an inverter to run tools and stuff it's not going to work well it would if we can Bypass it somehow. Yeah, unless you could program it to do that. Or bypass it. Yeah. Because somewhere in here, there's there's got to be a bypass for it. You would just have to delete. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it's worth messing around with, but mm. maybe another day, eh? Mm. We'll mess with it another day. Get it hooked up at your place and see if we can uh, plug some 220 into it real quick and see if she'll power up. Watch your eyes. Another thing is, hold Watch on, eyes, hold on. Bro. This is this is This is panel. This is not directly off of a 12 volt source. You know what I'm saying? So well, this is. Here's the odd thing. All of the panels that I've seen in the last five years here, mm -hmm. they don't put out DC. They put out 110. Yeah. So this would be put 110 in. We, well, we, we do this exactly. is taking the place of that inverter you're talking about. So in this configuration, they would hook the panels directly to this earlier, without that inverter that you're talking right, about. The right? earliest systems, that's how they work. Yeah, and yeah, then they yeah. decided, hey, this is no good. Maybe. Well, this is this is for like a house or a building. Yeah, this is not like hanging now, on the pole out there, right? One install, include my neighbor. Yeah. Each panel has a 110 inverter on it. Converts right. it to AC. All right, guys. I don't know. We're gonna have to play with this another day, but maybe maybe we'll figure we'll figure something out. But for twelve bucks, you can't go wrong. I mean, mm. there's a transformer, and I guarantee you, there's a giant heat sink in there. Watch probably sells eyes. on. Don't do that. What are you doing? You're gonna blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's closed. The, the relays are closed. It won't do nothing. Yeah. Another thing is maybe maybe it needs to see a, a, a higher voltage here. You know, yes, it's DC, mm, but, but it's enough. not twelve volt DC. It's meant to have you know. 16 panels yeah, attached yeah, to it so yeah. maybe this has to see above 12, 120 yeah. volts dc before it even turns on mm. you know what we need to do is research. take this number and research it a little bit yeah and, and figure out what the parameters are for the in the in power yeah. you know what i mean you see, you see that we're not doing it right or, or it's bad? well we're definitely not doing it right fred we're on the back of a nissan pickup truck with jumper cables <laughs> we're obviously not doing it right all right guys we gotta go i don't know we'll see what else we get into there's always something interesting all right. Oh, look at that wire. This ain't the DC, is it? Well, you can put power to that. Yeah, I mean, as long as it ain't hitting the housing. Too, that's too stoky. Yeah. Can, is there insulation behind that? Yeah, maybe kind not. Oh no. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Oh no. How about I hold it and you get your jumper cables and we'll see if she. There's, there's just enough insulation, Fred. Maybe if we be careful. Just hook the ground up and see. This thing's probably going to be loud as shit. If it is, I'm buying it for my truck. Work test. <laughs> All right. There you go. You think it's brass error? Oh, I know it is. Oh, do it. Hit it. Let's do this the right Watch way. Watch your ears, people. Hook yeah, there up. you go. Yep. Oh, oh, my, my God. God. <laughs> that thing is loud. <laughs> Okay. okay, Fred. Okay, we're gonna arc the wire out. You gotta take that apart and put a new plug up. That thing is awesome. I need that for my truck, Fred. Ew, oh, no, look at all the crap in there. Yeah, that thing era. is sweet. I can't believe it worked. Come yeah, on, yeah, I gotta do that again. Let me do it again. <laughs> hey, crack it. Uh, oh, it is brass. Look at it. Yeah, that might, yeah, it. brass. That thing is loud. That thing is so loud. <laughs> All right, Fred. It was fun. All right, guys. We're always getting into something, that's for sure. Later. That is cool. <laughs> what do you got here on your busted phone? We got Solar Edge. Uh, four to eight modules, specifically designed. Photovoltaic, compact technology, rooftop layout, choose language. See, here's your PDF. If you download that. That? No, right here. You see one document found? That's the, that's probably the uh, owner's manual for this thing. Oh, here you go. Manuals. See it? Did it work? 
Yeah, see, here's the PDFs. So you're going to have to download those PDFs. Here's a troubleshooting PDF and an inverter standby mode. So if you download them on your laptop, you'll be able to... Get all of Yeah, you'll get the whole thing. You can print, print the whole book yeah. out. Yeah, yep. All right, we'll figure this out at some point. Cool. If, if not, we'll catch something on fire, right? <laughs> all right, Fred, later.